Okay, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. I'm going to be painting um, and I'm going to be showing you on this 8x10 canvas board. Uh, I just double sided taped it to a piece of plywood and I have a wonderful little paper plate on my pellet here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our one inch fan brush and we're going to wet it inside um, just a cup of clean water and we're going to completely cover our canvas with just plain clear water and I'm going to speed through this whole thing pretty quickly and I'm going to mention times that you can pause the video so that way you can either catch up or um, you can dry your canvas because uh, you're going to need to do this um, because we're working with acrylics um, they don't blend super well and you really need to um, have them dry in between significant layers so anyway now that our canvas is thoroughly at least dampened it doesn't have to be dripping wet you're just going to kind of go across the entire thing top to bottom and then left to right across the whole section so that way you can get an even coverage here um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take again our just one inch brush and one two three we're just going to tap into the black a little bit just like that and then we're going to just kind of touch in the corners just a little bit just like that we're not going to do a whole lot that's it don't clean your brush take your brush your one inch brush and we're going to touch into the purple and we're just going to kind of tap a couple of places here this does not have to be super pretty just kind of scattered a little bit just like that and it gets less and less as you get further and further down again without cleaning our brush we're just going to dip right into blue and we're going to tap a couple of spots with our blue Just like that and kind of just do this that looks good it should be just a smattering of little uh, splatches of paint and so again without cleaning our brush we're just going to take into the corners and make these little itty bitty X's just like this and we're going to work our way from dark into the light and we're just going to keep going back and forth just like this until we get to about the center okay just like this like a nice arc then we're going to go over to our other black one and again just little X's just like this and we're just going to go back and forth little X's just like this and do not worry about the mess okay and we're just going to keep going back and forth and just kind of mess around with our back here and little tiny bits of white that peek through are actually going to be really really nice because those are going to be like far off clouds in our sky and we're just going to slowly gradient from our corners into essentially nothing down here at the bottom and so then once we're done we're going to go back up into our black and just kind of do this one more time just to kind of clean up our edges okay and it's okay if you go back into it a little bit this is going to be a fairly dark sky we're going to do a nice winter scene all right now that we're done and our brush should look a little bit like that we're going to go across just like this and just kind of blend in those brush marks and again this is like one of the cheapest brushes you can find on amazon so you don't need to buy expensive brushes and we're done this is our back one two three anyway so we've got our brush a little filbert brush and it's got nothing but just paint on it to dry brush to start with and what we're going to do is we're going to pick to see where our clouds are going to go and you can pick two four five ten one zero you can be just like this and that's perfectly fine but if you want to add a cloud we're going to add a happy little cloud and so i'm going to put one right here and what we're going to do is we're going to just do a straight line just like that and does not have to be perfectly straight it's perfectly fine the way that it is but stay in the same direction from mine is from left to right 
because I'm right-handed, it just feels a little bit more comfortable to me. If you're going to do right to left, make sure all of your clouds are in the exact same order, and it gives it that wispy feeling of a cloud. I'm gonna put in two because everybody needs a buddy. So our other cloud is gonna be right here, and we're just gonna kinda do this, and it's gonna fade into pretty much nothing, just like that. Just a straight line, just like that. Call it set, just a little bit. With our cloud or our brush still just just purple, and we're gonna angle it really steep, okay? And we're gonna make the top part of our cloud, and we're just gonna push up into the cloud just like this, and we're just gonna kind of follow along that one line, and we're gonna make little poofy bits, and then we're gonna kind of taper into nothing. See how it kind of just tapers like this, and we're gonna fill in our cloud. That's all we did for that one. Then we're going to go the other direction, but we're going to make it really straight, almost perfectly flat. And we're going to just touch and touch and kind of poke the bottom and just give it this little wispiness. And I'm going to taper mine out just a little bit more, just like that. That cloud is all done. We're going to do the other one. I've got a little bit of paint on one side and a little bit extra paint. I'm going to have the extra paint facing the canvas and I'm just going to kind of poof up my cloud again. And we're just going to poof it up and we're going to get this one just a little bit bigger and it's going to be a little bit more interesting. And then we're going to taper this one out into nothing, just like that. Then again, straight and we're just going to dab the bottom, dab, 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 and we're just going to kind of flip it over and just kind of make the cloud a little bit wispy so we don't have just a straight line on the bottom and you know what I'm gonna touch a couple times on that side and it trails off into nothing if you want you can add a couple of streaks in here or whatever it doesn't really matter it's all the way up to you I like my clouds just to be plain like this if you wanted to add um, shine to them or light to them so they're a little bit more white you can always go back with white and a lot of water you're going to have it really 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 thin and then you're just going to kind of do many layers until it looks pretty good like a cloud um, but make sure that that's super super thin all right and one two three one we're going to take our fan brush and this one we're going to touch into water and try to get rid of most of it. We're going to kind of wipe it on our paper towel and you should have like this really weird fan style brush like that with a sharp crystal edge. All right and so then what we're going to do is we're going to take just a touch of white just like this and I'm going to put it over here on the side and actually I'm going to do just a little more okay and then we're going to take just the smallest touch of blue not much at all we're gonna do very very little and always when you're grabbing from another color stay near the edge so that way you don't you know mix in with the rest of your your color and so we're gonna mix these two colors together and we're gonna get a nice light blue color does not have to be exactly like mine it can be lighter it could be darker it could be absolutely anything and so now we've got our brush, it's loaded up with paint, and we're gonna paint both sides just like that. And now we're gonna do a far off hill. We're only gonna do hills in this, we're not gonna do extravagant mountains like Bob Ross. That can be at a later video if that's something that you guys wanna see. Um, let me know in the comments if you wanna see mountains, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some far off hill. And you know what? I feel like this one's gonna be underneath this cloud. So we're just gonna take our, our brush, and we're just gonna kinda do this. And we're going to make this rounded hill mass. Does not have to be super pretty. It's just going to be a hill. Just like this. And we're going to pull that down and cover up a little bit. And we're going to go back. And again, you don't need a lot of paint here. The only thing we're going to be doing is just covering a little bit of this. And this is a far off hill. You're probably never even really going to see it underneath our trees that we're going to put in front of it anyway. Okay, so now we've got our little hill way in the back. Not really anything at all. Now, I've only got just a touch of paint left here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch into some clean water. 
and add some water to my brush and I'm gonna make this a lot thinner than it was okay so you don't need a lot of paint very very little paint and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some trees again these are gonna be off in the distance you're probably never even gonna see them and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna turn it sideways and tip it straight up and you're only gonna use the top part of your brush and so we're just gonna go touch touch and pull straight down touch and we're gonna do this a couple of times different sizes just like this and what you want to do is just kind of give you the illusion that there's trees out here it does not have to be perfect nothing is ever perfect once one side is wasted up you flip the brush over and you kind of just continue and just kind of go up and down just like this and we're just going to kind of touch and add these trees that you're really never even going to see okay and what it does is it basically just breaks up the canvas and so if we need to add just a touch more water just make sure that 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 paint is really really thin again you don't need a whole lot because you're probably never going to see this anyway and we're just going to kind of touch up and down just like this okay and now we have trees in the far off distance if you wanted to add just a little bit more to this just to kind of clean that up a little bit that's fine too you don't really have to but whatever Okay, there's your far off landscape, probably never even going to see it, but whatever. We're going to take, without cleaning our brush, we're going to dip it into water again. And now this one is going to have a little bit of extra water and we're going to take some white, just like this. Again, not a lot. And we're just going to mix it back in with this. Okay. Nice, bright color super thin adding water as needed and so it should be super thin okay now we've got our paint and what we're going to do is we're just kind of smash into it and kind of bend the bristles so it kind of makes like a poof okay just like this okay and we're just going to kind of tap at this just like that okay and don't cover it all up you've got different shades of blue here just leave them like that if you want to add a couple of trees that are a little bit lighter you can do that too and it just kind of breaks it up more than likely you're probably never even going to see this because we're probably going to cover it up with another tree but it doesn't matter now we have a broken up landscape okay now we're done with that side take your fan brush i like to clean it but we probably don't even have to because we're going to be doing a white and blue mix again so probably don't even need to clean your brush if you don't want to i just like having a nice clean brush it's just something about having a nice clean brush that makes me happy okay so now that i've got my clean brush i'm going to take again a pretty decent scoop of blue so we're going to like scoop up a big chunk of blue and right that into there okay we're not going to need that color anymore we're not using that and then we're going to smear this so it's mostly clean okay then we're going to grab some white and we're going to dip in and we're going to add a decent amount of white about the same amount of white as we added blue and now we're going to mix and so we're going to have a darker version of what we just did And now we're going to do it again. We're going to do it right here on this side. And we're going to cover up this edge. So if you, even if you want to just kind of touch right there. And that's where we're going to stop. Actually, our, my last tree is right here. So I'm actually just going to kind of do this number. Just like that. And we're going to just move along. And you know what? We can go up here. And we have this secondary hill. Just like this. And we're going to go into the clouds here. Okay. And we're just like the other one. I'm going to kind of pull this guy in just like this. We got this nice dark color and this weird looking, you know, two, two hill hill that we have here. Okay. Again, just like before, we're going to take our paint 
and we're going to add in some more of these trees that we had in the distance. Only these are just slightly larger. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of push just like this, but then we're going to move a little bit off to the side and kind of fill it in so it's a little thicker, just like that. And then we're going to move over and we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. And you know what? We're going to have a couple of little ones here in the distance that we're not actually going to be able to see much. And you know, we're going to have a little bit, and you know, oh, there's a really big tree right there. That one, that one's growing an extra arm, do you see that? It's great. Then we're going to be filling this in, and little guys off in the distance. And you know what? We're going to make these guys get bigger, and then there's going to be a gap, and then some bigger ones. And they're going to get smaller, and smaller, and smaller as they go. And you know what? We just covered up another one of those trees. Does not matter. And you know what? I kind of want this tree to be a little bigger. There. Now that tree is a little bigger. It's a happy little tree. Okay. Now we got trees. Now we have two lines for our our hills. Then we're going to add again just a little bit of extra white. We're going to take in some white and we're going to scoop in and we're going to add it to our paint just like we had but now we're going to add in just a touch of water and so we're going to dip our brush into water and we're going to mix it in and we want it a little bit looser than it was before you know what i want it a little bit looser so we're going to add a little bit more okay now we've got some thinner paint and we're going to add our front landscape just like we did before and we're just going to kind of brush like this and we're going to brush like that and we're just going to kind of mix it in and kind of do this but we don't want to get rid of all of our darkness here we want to have different colors in there because we don't want to get rid of everything so just leave these little gaps they're okay we won't want to take it get rid of all of our color okay now we got this we're going to add a little bit of extra paint and then we're going to just kind of touch on some of these and i'm just going to push on like one of these sides doesn't really matter if it's you know halfway or if it's on the other side it really doesn't matter all it does is it just means that your tree just looks a little bit different it's not a big deal you miss it completely i'm just going to pop one right there it doesn't matter and then we're just going to kind of push in and we're just going to kind of tap a little bit with this and just kind of like blend this out a little bit just like that okay i like that that looks good to me okay in this transition totally fine you don't need it to be nice crisp and clean because you know what is nice and crisp and clean nothing in nature nothing it's okay happy little accidents we're just going to move past it the last one the last layer we're going to do is one of the brightest ones that we're going to do and so this one we're going to scoop in a ton of white okay lots of white and then lots of white Okay, and then we're going to do pure white on top of that. And so this one is going to fill in the rest of this bottom. It's going to be wavy because of our canvas. We have a little bit of dips, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our paint and we're going to mix in with what we've got. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to add some blue. And you know what? Heck, why not? We'll add some purple. I like purple. Purple is a good color. So now I've got these smears of blue and purple and a little bit of white. Actually, it's a ton of white, but that's okay. Okay. These, you're probably not going to see much, just for the fact that we're going to cover it with almost all white anyway. And so what we're going to do is we're going to follow along in this contour. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of follow along, and we're going to come up. And we're going to come back down and we're going to come back up and that's good. So we've got these little hills that we've made and now we can fill in the rest of this. And you know what? It looks like my canvas is drying a little bit. So I'm going to add some water to this so I can thin this out. So it'll spread a little bit easier and I can get my full coverage that I need. There we go. Okay. Now this one, 
we are not going to be doing little happy trees on this plane. We're going to be letting this dry for now and then we're going to add our snow and our trees and then the final front foliage that will go in front of the trees. So pause this video. I'm just going to count to three and then it'll be dry and we can move forward because I've got a hair dryer right here. But pause this video, let your canvas dry, use a hair dryer, whatever you got to do, and then we can move on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and do that, counting to three. One, two, three. All right, and so what we're going to do now that our canvas is dry um, is we're going to add our trees. And hey everybody, Mike from the future. I just wanted to tell you that I mess up right here. Um, what you want to do right now is add your snow at least right along the top of that hill. Then we're going to add the trees. But I fix it in this video, but to save yourself the heartache, just do it this way. Okay, all right, we'll go back to the video now. And our trees are going to be a interesting set of colors. They're going to be green and purple because purple is very wintry, blue is very wintry. So we're gonna add just a touch of our purple and we're gonna move it over here next to our green. And that really isn't a whole lot. I know it seems like a lot, but my brush was a little wet. And we're gonna take our green and we're gonna do about three times the amount of green as we did purple. And basically all it does is it gives us a matte, like a, a grayer version of our green. So if you look at the two, very Christmassy, and this one's a little bit darker and a little bit more gray. And so I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna mix up some more, just like that. All right, so there's our muted, I guess you could say, our muted green, and now we have a lot of paint on our paintbrush, okay? And so we're going to find out where our happy little trees are going to go, and I believe mine is probably going to go somewhere right in here, and then I'm going to have another one right underneath this cloud. And so again, just like these trees, we're going to start, and we're going to tilt our brush up, and what we're going to do is we're going to find out where the top of our tree is, and I like to have a nice tall tree about a third of the way down. And so I'm just gonna touch just like that. And that's where the start of my tree is. And so from there, we're gonna kinda use just the corner of our brush and we're gonna kinda go back and forth like this, like a Z, okay? Just like that. And we're gonna move back and forth, moving this zigzag pattern. It does not have to be perfect. And we're just gonna slowly get wider and wider and wider as we go. See how we're going? I flip my brush over and we're gonna keep going. And we're just gonna kinda go back and forth in our Z. And it doesn't again have to be perfect. And we wanna reach below the, the hill. So we wanna be able to be, like plant our tree somewhere. And so our tree base is gonna be somewhere around here. Okay, just like that. We have a tree. Very simple, very sparse tree right here in the middle. Grew a lot that year, totally fine. Okay, now we're gonna do another tree. And this one, I'm not gonna do anything other than the green, all green that I had left on here. It's just kinda, you know, a pretty decent chunk. And I'm just gonna add it to what I've got because I'm just gonna mi mix these guys together. And I'm going to do another one, but this one's going to be a little bit shorter just because I don't have a whole lot of paint on here and I just want to, you know, go a little bit faster. And so we're going to do another one and we're going to start it right there. Okay, we're going to start it right there and we're going to again, just using the corner of our brush and we're going to move back and forth like a little Z, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the way down, just like this. Okay, you know what, I want that one to be a little bit taller, so we're going to go just a little bit further. Okay, I like that guy. He's very happy. And now, what we're going to want to do is kind of add a trunk. So we're just going to kind of 
put in a little line and basically it just makes it so even if we did miss a little spot at least there's some dark side of that that will look like a tree okay now what we're going to do is we're going to clean our brush and we're going to go and clean this as best we can because we're going to be using a lot of white here okay and now we've got our background and unfortunately I forgot to add the background we did a little happy little accident and so I've got some spot here that is just gray or this like bluish color but I wanted to have snow right here and so we're gonna actually add our snow into that and to do that we're gonna add a decent amount of water and we're just gonna dip into paint so we have just white here okay and I only put it on about half and the reason that you put it on a little bit less than half is because now I've got the paint side on this side and now I can follow along and then touch here and kind of add my spaces. And we're not ever going to know that I didn't put any here on purpose. Okay? And now that I've got this side that's mostly dry I'm gonna just kind of or mostly just water I'm gonna move that around and just kind of mix this up a little bit and you know what nobody ever knew nobody even knew it was great okay now again on this side I was supposed to put some snow right here so I'm going to add a little bit of snow and I'm going to just kind of touch in here And we're just going to add our snow that we should have had at the beginning. And just little gaps, just like that. And now with the side that doesn't have a whole lot of paint on it, we're just going to kind of smear these together and kind of make it look like it was intentional. Okay. Now the other side, this one's going to be a little easier because it's pretty much empty anyway. And so now we've had our happy little accidents ah oh no my double sided tape at least it didn't fall okay stay okay now okay we're gonna mix that up and just kind of do this and now we fixed our problem and now we're going to add in the rest of our snow and we're just going to do exactly like we did before with the other one we're going to add some water and we're going to add to our paint and just make it just slightly thinner than it was okay and then we're just going to kind of smash 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 and we're going to put in these little hills and domes just like this and don't fill them all in if you fill them all in it won't look like it's got any kind of depth you don't want to cover it up like you you know didn't do anything at all we're just gonna add a little bit of water in our white and we're just gonna keep going just like this and there can be big piles and little piles doesn't matter this is your world Okay, I like that. It looks good. Okay, now we've got these trees and we got to put something on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit of blue. So we have a shaded side and then we have our light side. Unlike the dark side and the light side of the force. Those of you who know me, I am a huge nerd. And so we're going to mix together white and blue and we're going to get this sky blueish color here and we're going to pick which side the lights going to be on it can be on the left or it can be on the right me personally i like my light to be on the left hand side it just seems to work a little bit easier for me and so this is our shadow side 
and we're just going to do again just like the z trees but we're only going to go about halfway it's okay if it moves on to either side and so we're just going to kind of touch and we're going to just add little bits here it does not have to be perfect you want to be able to see the actual tree underneath too okay just like that we're going to do the same thing on the other one Just like that and now we have our shadow side and now we're just gonna get and we're gonna clean our brush and we're gonna use only white that's all we're gonna use okay and I've got my brush and I'm gonna just pull just white and this one it looks like it's actually drying a little bit so I'm actually gonna add some more and we're just going to plop that right in the center because we're actually going to use a decent amount here in the next step. And it's just white and we're pulling that onto our brush. And we're going to do the exact same thing only on the left hand side here. And we're just going to kind of try to follow this along and kind of do our Z tree thing going back and forth just like this. Okay, and then we're going to do it on this one as well. Okay, and now we have our shaded side. And you know what? We're going to just accidentally touch right here. And it looks like one of those branches got a little funky and is sticking out a little bit further on that side. Does not matter. This is your world. Enjoy this time. Okay, now we have our, you can stop right here, <laughs> my other camera stopped. You can stop right here and sign it and be done, or what we can do is we can add snow. And what snow does in this particular scene is it actually gets rid of a lot of those little impurities that we really don't like, or we can just kind of emphasize a little bit of what this scene is. And so we're going to go ahead and dip our fan brush into our water and we're done with that. We're going to go back to the filbert brush which should be nice and clean and dry now and what we're going to do is we're going to add a lot of water. We're going to take our white and we're just going to mix it into a different area and we're just going to pull a lot of white until it's like ink and we're going to pull a lot of water in here and we're going to try to get rid of as much excess as we can while we mix because we want to make sure that we have this really runny white and now the fun part you're going to take your brush and you're going to pull your finger and you're going to pull these bristles back and it's going to spray onto the canvas like this just like that and we're going to do this a couple of times and we're gonna dip into our really thin stuff. The thinner, the better. If it's dripping down the brush, you're doing it right, but you don't want it to drip on the canvas. That's why we're doing it this way. Okay. I think that's pretty good. We can probably add just a little bit more down here just to show that it's snowing everywhere in our world. I like that. And I'm going to wash my finger here real quick. Just kind of get rid of my paint on my finger. And you know what? I've got this little itty bitty brush. It's already clean, so I can do it right now, but you guys don't have to do that. If you guys want to use one of your brushes after you clean it, whatever, that's fine. And I'm going to sign my name. I'm going to use black because it's really easy to see. And 
you can pick the left or the right. I usually prefer the right hand side and I'm going to put my little signet because I don't actually put my signature on here. I just put my little logo. And this is the Roberts Innovation R. It's upside down. And so that is the end of our painting. Thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do like something like this and you'd like something else, feel free to comment below and I do read all of these. Anyway, have a great day and God bless.